Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Southwood High School for tonight's varsity matchup between the Tippecanoe New Valley Vikings and the Southwood Knights. I'm Christy Christian. You're watching an RTC Channel 4 presentation of Indiana High School Basketball. Southwood will start off with the ball. Valley coming in this game 17 and excuse me, so yeah, 17 and 4. Southwood coming in 9 and 9. Three-point attempt up, no good. Hannah Doan on the rebound. Addie Miller wide open. She'll go up and she'll get two points there. Valley will be first to score. Seacrest going to take that one away. This is a Three Rivers Conference matchup. Valley is undefeated in the TRC as that three-point attempt no good by Boriette. Hannah Dunn on the rebound. Couldn't put it back up. And that'll go out of bounds off the Knights. Valley 7-0 in the TRC. That three-point attempt is good by Meredith Broyette. Southwood 2-4 in the TRC. If Valley can win their next two conference games, they will be the TRC champions this season. Two-point attempt, no good. Seacrest on the re almost had it. Three-point attempt now, no good. Buzzard on the rebound. Buzzer going to go up, takes it herself, and she'll get two. Valley with a 7 nothing lead early. That shot attempt no good. Broyette on the rebound. Miller for three, hesitated. Not going to get it that time. Dunn on the rebound. Buzzard inside. Buzzard will get two. In the first two minutes, Valley with a nine to nothing lead. Spoke too soon there. That's a three pointer made by number 25, Brooke Elliott. Knights finally on the board. Dunn couldn't get that one to go up. Valley will still have the ball. Seacrest inside. That one going to roll off. It's going to be a foul on Addie Miller. Shot attempt is good. Number 24, Cassidy Atwood. Valley still leading by four. Dunn almost lost the ball there. See Chris going inside. She almost lost it. Miller for three. Now they're going to count as a two. See Chris going to take that one away. She's going to go up. No good. She'll put it up again. That time she got it. Valley leading 13 to 5. Southwood still has the ball. Three point attempt, no good. Buzzard on the rebound. Miller for three, no good. Dunn on the rebound. Dunn puts it back up. Dunn will get two points there. Yeah, 
And Southwood will call a timeout there as Tippecanoe Valley leading 15 to 5. 408 to go in the first. Southwood will have the ball. Miller knocked that one out of bounds. It'll be Viking ball. Seacrest finds Miller. Miller for three, and that's going to go in. That'll give Miller seven points on the night so far. Two-point attempt is good. Number 13, Taylor Heath. Done inside, looking for two, no good. Buzzard able to come up with it. Boryep for three, that's gonna go in. That'll give Boyette six points on the night so far. See Chris block that one. Buzzard almost got it. It's out on the Knights. Ball went into the band. I believe it hit some girl in the face. Done for two. In and out. Valley with a commanding 21-7 lead here in the first. That's going to be a foul on Hannah Dunn. That'll be her first. Asia O'Connor in for the Vikings, as is Emily Peterson. Three-point attempt up, no good. Seacrest on the rebound. Boryep for two, that no good. Miller on the rebound. Miller for three now, and that's going to go in. Addie Miller has ten points now for the Vikings. Valley leading 24-7. Three-point attempt, no good. Seacrest again on the rebound. O'Connor inside. She'll get two points, and she's going to go to the line, try to make it a three-point play. Yeah. 
Petey now in for the Vikings. O'Connor going to make it a three-point play. Valley leading by 20. That's only the first quarter. Miller going to take it away. Trapiti going to go up. And she'll get two. Nice roll in there. That one is going to go out of bounds. And it'll go back to the Vikings. At this rate, Valley could have a 100-point game on their hands if they can keep up what they're doing here. Peterson for two. No good. Peterson gets it back. Miller for three now, in and out. Seacrest inside, she'll put it up and that'll go in. <laughs> 31 points for Valley in only the first quarter. <laughs> Emily Peterson call for a first foul. Tanisha Brown will come in. Final seconds of the quarter. Puts it up, no good. And at the end of one, Tippecanoe Valley leading 31 to seven. Valley will have the ball to start the second quarter of play. They're leading 31 to seven. That one good there by Asia O'Connor. Southwood hasn't been able to stop Valley on offense or defense. Three-point attempt, no good. She stepped out of bounds there. It'll go to the Vikings.
Change to Brown inside, looking for a place to go. Be a foul on Southwood, still Valley Ball. Peterson for three, that one overshot. Brown puts it back up. Brown gets two points there. Two point attempt, no good. O'Connor on the rebound. Two point attempt by Miller, no good. Now we're going to go out of bounds. No, she kept it inside. Trapedi able to save it. That's going to be a foul. No, oh, they're going to call it a travel. Boriette going to come in now. I don't know if I agree with that travel call there, but I'm not the one in the stripes. Either way, Valley still leading 35-7. That one slips through the fingers. It'll be an over and back. Trapini lost it, but it's going to still be Valley Ball as it went out of bounds off Southwood. Boriet going to go inside, finds O'Connor. O'Connor will put it up. That'll be a foul on the Knights. O'Connor's going to go to the charity stripe. Connor's already made one from the line. And she'll make that one. Not able to make the second. Valley going to take the ball back. Trapedi lost it out of bounds. That shot attempt, no good. Rebound attempt, no good. Southwood still with the ball. That's going to be a foul on O'Connor. Last shot attempt, no good. Fight for the ball, it'll be a jump ball. <laughs> Hannah Dunn back in. Three-point attempt, no good. 
Brown on the rebound. Boria thought about three, decided not to, probably good. Trapiti puts it up, Trapiti will get two. And Valley now with a 31 point lead. Brown takes it away. Peterson for three. That'll go in. Going to be a foul on Emily Peterson. That'll be her second foul of the night. Number 10, McKenna Dawes at the line for the Knights. She'll miss that one. Sophie Buzzer back in for the Vikings. Southwood has not scored in this quarter. Still. Trapiti for three. No good. That shot attempt no good. Done on the rebound. Boy up for three. No good. Trapiti on the rebound. Trapiti finds Buzzer. Buzzer will put it up. That no good. Done on the rebound. Dunn cannot get the shot in, but she's going to go to the line for two. <laughs> Dunn will make the first one. Dunn will make them both. <laughs> Southwood going to call a timeout and Tippecanoe Valley leading with a commanding score of 43-7. to Southwood with the ball. Lobs it up, no good. Done inside, done. We'll get two points there and she'll go to the line, try to get it a three point play. Dunn will make it a three-point play. Valley averages about 60 points a game, and they're only 15 points away from that, and it's not even halftime. Yeah. 
Valley keeps up what they're doing. I think we could very well have a 100-point game on our hands, and what a spectacle that would be. Hannah Dunn takes it away. Dunn finds Brown. Brown puts it up. Brown will get two points. Three-point attempt, no good. Buzzard on the rebound. Boyette thought about three, decided not to. Gives it to Brown. Brown puts it up off the back rim. Under a minute to go now in the half. Brown takes it away. Dunn has it now. Can they get 50 before the half? Lost it out of bounds. Boyette for three. In and out. I was hoping we'd be able to get to 50 before halftime. Still 30 seconds, though, for us to be able to do it. Three-point attempt, no good. I think Buzzard had a hand on it. That shot attempt, no good. Boyette has it. Valley has time. Buzzard has the ball. Buzzard shoots for two. She'll get it. Final seconds of the half. Dunn takes it. Dunn lobs it up. Can't she make it? Oh, my goodness. She made it before the buzzer. Oh, my goodness. And at halftime, Tippy Canoe Valley leading 53-7. to Southwood didn't even score in the second quarter. We'll be right back after halftime. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And I tell you what, I'm still amazed at the end of that half there. Hannah Dunn making that long three-point attempt. And Valley leading 53-7 to to start the second half of play. Valley will have the ball. What a shot that was, let me tell you. Valley has the ball. Valley was great on defense in the second quarter, not allowing Southwood to score at one point. See Chris going inside. Finds Trapiti. Trapiti gonna go in now. Trapiti puts it up and she'll get two. Two point attempt up. No good. See Chris on the rebound. They're all over her. That'll be a foul on Southwood. Valley trying to set something up. Bad pass by O'Connor, gonna be taken by the Knights. But they're gonna keep it in bounds. Three point attempt, that one off the mark. Trapedi on the rebound.
That one going to be taken by the Knights. And it's going to be a foul on Tanisha Brown. First foul for Brown. First one no good by number 21, Ashley Parson. See Chris going inside, puts it up. That's going to roll off. And it's going to go out of bounds. Valley still with the ball. See Chris going inside. That one no good. Not enough arm on it. And that'll be two points there for number 13, Taylor Heath. <laughs> Miller for two, no good off the back rim. Seacrest got the rebound and put it back up. And she's going to go to the line, try to make it a three-point play. Seacrest will make that a three-point play. That's going to go in. Brooke Elliott for the Knights. Seacrest for three, no good. Not many times you see Seacrest shoot a three. Last shot attempt, no good. And that'll be a foul there. Foul beyond Addie Miller. Number 25, Brooke Elliott at the line for the Knights. She'll make the first one. Peterson now in for the Vikings. And the second one will go in for Elliott. Now we're going to be taken away. Seacris got a hand on that one, but she's going to be called for the foul. That'll be Ann's first foul of the night. Number 10, McKenna Dawes at the line for the night. She'll make the first one. Sophie Buzzer back in for the Vikings. Dawes will make the second.
And that one gonna roll out of bounds off the hands of Peterson. And we'll have a timeout on the court. Tippecanoe Valley leading 58 to 15. 310 to go in the third. Southwood has the ball. O'Connor got a hand on that one. The Knights able to keep it though. Two-point attempt is good. Uh, number 13, Taylor Heath for the Knights. Two-point attempt by Buzzard, no good. Buzzard gets her own rebound, puts it back up, and she'll get two. That'll give Valley 60 points on the night. Mass shot attempt, no good. Southwood able to keep it. Puts it up again, no good, off the back. O'Connor on the rebound. Buzzer going inside. That one gonna be taken away by the Knights. She'll put it up and it'll roll in. Number 21, Ashley Parson. Valley leading by 41. I think Buzzer was thinking about a three-pointer there. Buzzer will try it now. No good. Olivia Trapiti going to be called for her second foul. Just barely under a minute to go here in the third. Now we're going to sail out of bounds. Valley will have the ball. there by Peterson. It's going to be taken by the Knights. But it's going to be taken back by the Vikings. Sophie Buzzard able to come up with it. Final seconds of the quarter. Three-point attempt no good. 
Brown tried to get it up off the rebound attempt, but it was no good. Valley will have possession of the ball with 1.1 seconds to go in the third. Buzzard almost had it in. And at the end of three, Tippecanoe Valley leading 60 to 19 over Southwood. Do we even like we don't even need to score on this one. We don't we don't even need defense. We just need offense and we'll be good. And we're getting ready here to start the fourth and final quarter. Tippecanoe Valley with a commanding lead of 60 to 19. Mackenzie Woodcox is in for the Vikings now. Woodcox called for her first foul. That one gonna go out of bounds. <laughs> Miscommunication there, it'll go out of bounds. Valley still with the ball. Boyette almost lost it. Trapedi able to pick it back up. Done inside. That's going to be a foul on Southwood. Valley still with the ball. Nice play there. It's going to bounce in. Great play there by the Vikings and Emily Peterson will have two point or excuse me, three points there. Woodcox got a hand on it. Peterson able to take it away. Trapini keeps it in bounds. Woodcox puts it up. No good. That'll go out of bounds. Valley has the ball. Peterson for three again. That one no good.
Southwood just hasn't been able to get anything going against these Lady Vikings. Hannah Dunn going to be called for a second foul. Two-point attempt is good. Number 24, Cassidy Atwood for the Knights. Valley leading by 42. That pass broken up. Foul going to be on Woodcox. That'll be her second foul. McKenna Dawes at the line for the Knights. She'll miss it, and it'll go out of bounds. <laughs> we'll have a timeout on the court. Tippecanoe Valley leading 63-21. to 5.26 to go in the game. Valley has the ball. It'll go out of bounds. Valley still with the ball. Briette looking for Dunn, not able to get it to her. And that'll go in for number 11, Cassidy Simpson. Boyette going inside. Not able to get to. Boyette for three, that'll go in. That extends Valley's lead to 43. That'll be a jump ball call. That one gonna slip through the hands of Woodcox and it'll go back to the Knights. If Southwood's gonna come back, they surely don't have a lot of time. It's pretty hard to get 40 points in four minutes. That'll go back to the Vikings. Tanisha Brown will come back in. Brown. 
Asia O'Connor will now come in for the Vikings. Peterson inside, finds Boyette on the outside. Brown almost lost it there. Brown inside, they're all over her. Now we're gonna go out of bounds. Peterson puts it up and she'll get two. That shot attempt no good. And not going to be able to save it, and it'll go back to the Vikings. She didn't do that to herself. Valley has the ball under three minutes to go in the game. Three point attempt by Peterson is good. That shot attempt no good. It's going to go out of bounds. Mackenzie Woodcox will come back in now for the Vikings. Valley leading by 48 points. Tanisha Brown puts it up. Make it 50. Valley now leading by 50 points. I think I'm going to call this game early. That's going to be a foul on O'Connor. No, it's going to be on Tanisha Brown. I think it's safe to say Valley is going to walk away with a victory here tonight. Anything can happen in Indiana high school basketball, but a 50-point deficit is something that's very almost impossible to make up with only 142 to go. With this victory, Valley will move to 8 and 0 in the conference. As that one going to go out of bounds. Brown called for her third foul. She'll make the first one. Not able to make the second. And 
That one going to be taken by Peterson. With this victory, as I said, Valley will move to 8-0 in the TRC. Was that two-pointer made by Mackenzie Woodcox? And we have one minute to go in this one. Again, as I said, Valley will go to 8-0 in the conference. They still have to play Manchester. If they beat Manchester, then they will be the Three Rivers Conference champions for 2016-17 season. Peterson inside, no good. I'll have a foul. Valley is ranked seventh in the 3A standings. Hopefully they can be in the top five by the time we get to sectionals in about a week or so. With this victory, Valley will move to 18 and four. Valley does have the first round by in the sectionals. O'Connor blocked that one. Knight's able to regain it. O'Connor did it again, and O'Connor's going to take it. And Valley just going to hold on to the ball as they're gonna win this one and win it big. Valley will improve to eight and zero in the conference, 18 and four overall with this 77 to 28 victory over the Southwood Knights. I'm Chris Seacrest and you've been watching an RTC Channel 4 presentation of Indiana High School Basketball. Good night, folks.